Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at Amazon here, AMZN, on the daily and weekly time frame. Bullish bounce off the middle Bollinger Band holding that support. We have bounced off of it the past two times or past three times it's been tested. And we closed just above the 10 day moving average 672.59. That level is back to support. So a very bullish move by the Amazon bulls. And now it's very clear middle Bollinger Band support of 664.88 and 680 resistance. We have tested 680 many times without being able to close above it. So as this middle Bollinger Band support ascends, the range is going to get tighter and tighter of being able to trade below resistance and above support. And we should see a flex point coming to a, a climax next week with either a close above 680 or a close below middle Bollinger Band support as that moves up. So obviously a close below the middle Bollinger Band will be bearish. We have not been below that level since back on October 1st, so over two months now. That would be a significant change in the trend and we would be looking down at support of this last dip which was 622.29 and we have the 50 day moving average support of 607.05 as well. On the weekly chart, bulls are still very much in control. We have held this 10 week moving average support for pretty much the entire year. We have had a couple weeks where we did close just below it but quickly recovered it and we have not had a bearish reversal confirmed on this weekly chart in about eight months. So obviously a very bullish chart. As long as this 10 week moving average support holds of 618.41, that will be a great sign for the longer term bulls. We are seeing a little bit of a top out in the sense that this is a bearish reversal doji and this is confirming it with a red candlestick. We did form a higher low, barely, did form a higher high. So very cautious that this may be a period where we do pull back from. And if we do, we'll be looking at those levels I pointed out on the daily chart, as well as the 10 week moving average of 618.41. But a close above 680 should signal more upside and we'll see how it shapes up early next week. We should see this a break either above or below support and resistance. So if you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put them out daily. The website again is thechartguys.com. I can convey information much more efficiently live on webcam utilizing the five minute charts. They allow for more attention to detail in terms of support and resistance levels, as well as key changes in trend up to the minute right when they happen. So come on by for a free week. I look forward to meeting you. Thanks for watching the video and have a great rest of your weekend.